Hi, in this video I will show you how to connect and use a 2.2 inch TFT display with a Teensy 3.1. These di displays are very nice, compact, and cheap. I got them on eBay for five to six dollars. They have an SPI interface and an ILI 9341 controller. They also have an SD card reader on the back and a separate interface for it. To connect the display to the Teensy 3.1, Follow the wire diagram from the video description in the following pictures. The programs you see here are using the UTFT library that comes by default with the Arduino IDE 1.05. It is recommended that you replace your current library with the latest version from the author's website. To replace the existing library, just download the files from the website and replace the ones from your Arduino installation uh, libraries folder. At the time of the making of this video, the latest version of the library was 2.77. After you connect the Teensy to your computer, you you should know the COM port that you used for the connection. To find the port, open Device Manager and look for your, the COM ports. You will see one saying Teensy USB Serial. Remember that port. Now open the Arduino IDE and type the program that you see on the screen. The program is also available in the description of the video. After the program is ready, make sure the IDE communication settings are set correctly. Teensy 3.1, the COM port, USB type serial, speed, any speed should work for these examples. In the program, you can see the library used, the default fonts used, and the line that sets the correct display controller and the pins used into the library. This line is very important and will work for this particular configuration. If you are using a different display or a different microcontroller, you will have to make changes to this line. After all those are done, load the program into the Teensy and you should see the display working as you see on the screen. If it does not work, check the wire diagram, the connections, and the ID settings for the program. The second program we will use is in fact one of the demo files that comes with the library. In a new ID instance, load the UTFT demo 320 by 240 program. You can copy this line from the first program and copy it here. After this change is done, you can load the program and enjoy an astounding display of capabilities from the little display. I must admit that I was impressed.
For the last program, I will show you how to use external fonts. On a new program, copy the program you see on the screen. It is also provided in the video description as program 2. This video uses fonts that are not loaded by default with the UTFT library. First, try to compile the program and you'll get an error about missing files. The fonts used by this library are C files that can be downloaded from the internet and they need to be placed in the same folder as the program that is using them. The two fonts needed are Arial Bold and Inconsola. Get the fonts from the author's website and place them in the folder where your new programs was created and saved. Close and reopen the Arduino IDE and you should see your program and the two new files loaded as separate tabs. Now the program should compile without errors and can be loaded into your Teensy. There are many fonts that you can find on the internet and all can be used as you saw here. The demo ends here but now you should be ready to use what you learned with your own devices. Good luck.